start to your Sunday morning. We're going live here on Facebook. And then let me make sure I can hear myself over here. Sweet. I believe we are live on Facebook. So if you can hear me, let me know. And um, yeah, let me see if I can see if I can hear myself on this. Okay. How do I make this work? That's pretty funny, huh? All right. Can I hear myself? That is always the question. Yes. Sweet. All right. So it is almost 7 a.m. IST. Um, that means it's close to 9.30 p.m. where I am in the great state of Tennessee. Um, in today's session, you're going to need a chair. Um, preferably a high back chair. If you don't have one, that's fine. You can also use a wall. You also will need some dumbbells, which I should have probably had out before we started. And let me see, you're gonna need your dumbbells, you're gonna need a chair, and you're gonna need some grit and fortitude, right? Because today's workout is gonna be a high intensity interval circuit training session. If you don't have dumbbells, grab your resistance tubes. My husband's over here behind the camera doing resistance tubes, so um, there's a couple of moves that might be a little creative um, that he's going to help me work through and maybe try to talk to if you're using resistance tubes. It's not that it's impossible, it just might mean you have to be a little more creative with it. Um, let me see. Oh, I got folks talking to us. Hey, Singh. How are you doing? And hey, Simran and Nashrant. Good to see you. Hey, Mega. That's awesome. Okay, so if you guys have been with me before, you know that I um, like to keep a screen over here because I can't see worth a flip. And so this way I try to um, see what you guys are saying to me. Also, before we get moving, I have like my little circuits already typed out above in the Facebook page. Um, so what we're going to do, three exercise circuit, each one 60 seconds. Um, yeah, I think we could do 60 seconds. If we start running short on time, the last circuit will cut down to 45 seconds. I was um, kind of timing it about in my head before the session started, and I thought it might get close, so we might have to cut some time off with the second one. Hey, Dev Devondra, nice to see you inside Fitter. So again, you're gonna want a chair here. We're gonna do some dips. So you don't have to have the chair for the dips, but I'm gonna use the chair for a um, single leg lunge where we're gonna put a weight in the back of the crook of your knee. And so we're gonna try to single leg lunge and then kick it back. So it's like a booty work on the balancing leg and then booty and thigh work on the squatting leg. So make sure, if especially if balance is a thing, have a chair. But then we're going to turn around and use it for dips, and then we'll also use it for elevated glute bridges. So, good times. This is going to be a full body workout, and it is time to go. So, let's go ahead and start warming up. I'm going to start in the downward facing dog position. My clock is not right. And so, your hands are down on the mat. The feet are down on the mat. Your bottom is up in the air. Draw that navel into the spine. And just stretch out the backs of those calves, the backs of the arms, maybe even feel this into your lats. Nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Then we're gonna roll ourselves out to a plank. Good morning, bellies. Draw the navel to the spine, and then roll yourself back to down dog. Try to make the movement come here from the core. We're gonna do that four more times. Rounding a whole bunch like a Halloween cat out to your plank, shoulders down and away from the ears. Start tucking the tailbone, lift the belly button up towards the sky. Press the shoulders back. Let's do that again. Round, round, round. Come out to your plank. Look forward. Then suck the belly in. Come back to down dog. Two more just like that. Round it out. Warming up through the shoulders. Suck the belly in. Come all the way up. Last one, round it out. And then draw it back, good job. We're gonna take that right foot forward, set that left knee down on the mat. Tops of the left feet are on the ground and press that hip down. 
This is for your left hip flexor. And if you can, think about shoving your chest forward and you can take your arms behind you to stretch across your chest. You can also just reach back. That's also a chest stretch. Plant your hands here on the mat. Switch your feet. Ooh, those hip flexors. It's early in the morning for some of you guys. So let's be nice to the hip flexors. Sink into them. You might feel the stretch coming all the way up into the core. That's okay. Now remember, you can reach your hands back to stretch across the chest. Clasping or otherwise. Let this feel fairly good. Beautiful. Bring both hands down to the mat. Step that left foot back. Walk the hands back to the feet. And here we are with our knees bent, clasping opposite elbows, swaying side to side, warming up the hammies. Just a gentle stretch. Woo, you guys ready? All right, let the hands dangle here. Slowly roll it all the way up. Let's roll those shoulders back and then forward. And then let's take the right arm across the body, give it a little tug tug. And then the left arm. We're gonna do another stretch. This time, put your left foot behind the right foot. Reach your hands up and overhead. R right hand grabs that left wrist. Pull the hands up towards the sky and reach over towards the left. Feel the stretch along the entire left side of your body. Try to keep your chest nice and forward. Good work. Coming back, cross the other way. Now the right foot's in the back. Hands stay up and overhead. Left hand grabs the right wrist. Pull the wrist up and then take it over to the left. Notice the differences in sides. It's totally normal. Oh yeah, all right. So wiggle it out just a little bit. We're gonna do um, one little kind of warm up for the hips. So take your feet out wide, toes out, heels in, and then squat it down low. Play with sticking your tailbone out and then tucking it under. Stick it out and tuck it under. Just one more. Now find your neutral spine and pull the knees out. I guess that'd be push the knees out, getting into the inner thighs. The higher up you are, the less intense it is for the hips, but the more your legs have to work. All right, now we're gonna do little bitty small movements. Lift the bottom up and then set it back down. Just five. So here's two. Keep that belly button to spine. Two more. Last one. Beautiful, ground down through the heels. Pull yourself all the way up. Shake it out, wobble it out. So this first circuit, remember each exercise is 60 seconds. We're going to go back to back without stopping for three exercises. One of the exercises has two sides, so this circuit is actually four minutes long. And then we're going to take a 60 second break between each round of circuits. The first exercise, do we have any questions? Hey, Abor, it's good to see you. Okay, the first exercise, you're going to want to go pretty light. It's a rear delt underhanded grip. So your palms are going to be up chest is proud make sure you go light on these because the rear delts are typically fairly weak but we need to work them first because they are weak so you're going to have the palms up lifting it straight out the second exercise is a fun one it's a curtsy lunge you guys know i like to do these so you'll take your back foot back and then whew, back foot back let me do that <laughs> foot back and then kick it to the front Curtsy lunge, kick it to the front. So it's going forward, out to the side, and then swinging it back for that curtsy lunge. So it's like a big circle for the hips, working the whole part of this hip region. Sorry, I had a brain for it right there. Okay, the last one is a bicep curl. And if you want, I think we did this one or two um, circuits ago. You can play with going straight up, straight out, and cross body if you like. All right, so you guys ready? Any questions for me? Oh, no questions. So remember, this first round, you want to go fairly light. I'm going to start with five, and I might even end up dropping them because I'm nursing a shoulder injury. So fairly, fairly light. My phone, I'm looking at the wrong one. 60 seconds. 
Make sure you keep your navel to your spine. And my clock is coming. Let's do this. Let's do this. Everybody ready? The anticipation is killing me. All right. So, underhand grip. Make sure your knees are soft, your navel is in, and let's do this. Let's go. So, make sure even here, your tailbone isn't sticking out like a cheerleader bottom, but you also don't want it super scooped either. You might be thinking, why is she starting here if this is supposed to be a high intensity session? The reason is the back part of your body, all that posterior chain, typically is weaker than the front side. Some people joke it's because the front side of the body is the vanity muscles, but it's also we always go forward, right? We don't go backwards. So I wanted, I have a shoulder injury, and that's why I'm starting with my weak, my weakest muscle group first, so that I'm freshest. So when you are developing your workout plans, keep that in mind. Now, as you're here in this rear delt raise, don't stick the bottom out too much. Keep your posture strong and tall. Crown of the head is reaching forward. All right, we're gonna go straight into the dumbbell curtsy lunges. You can keep your weights or drop them. I'm gonna drop mine for this set. And let's do this again. So we're gonna take the left foot behind the right, curtsy lunge, swoop it around, kick it forward. And let's just get moving. And then if I feel like I've got decent balance today, I might add weights for the second round. But I was a little bit nervous considering I'm online. <laughs> and yeah, I think it would probably be fairly funny, but I don't really wanna bust too much in front of everybody. So keep that navel in. Try not to let the knees get too wonky here. And if you don't wanna do this kick you don't have to. You can also just do a rear lunge as well. That might be a little easier for your knees, especially if you're working on the glute strength to help you do these curtsy lunges. Also, if balance is an issue, come back to this little high chair, watch it when you kick it forward, and then you can hold on to something. All right, let's do the other side. You ready? Right foot goes back. Swing it forward and kick. Maybe don't kick your chair. You guys feeling that in the glute that was just finished working? So think about actually kicking with the heel of the right foot. See if you can feel that working the inner thigh. And don't forget to think about having a good time. I know it is Sunday morning and for some reason, we're waking up and working hard. Woo. This is clearly my wonky balance side. How about you? You'll notice you'll have a dominant side. Pretty normal. Keep going. Try to have energy out that left heel to really activate the right, I mean the right heel, to activate the inner thighs. One more. Whew. Now, grab your dumbbells. Go fairly, go like medium heavy. I'm gonna try 15 and just see what happens. Hi, Osif. Hi, Supriya. Let's go. One minute, bicep curls. Now you can do a traditional curl where you lift and kind of twist here at the top, if you'd like. We're gonna do this three times. So, if you want, you can do one arm at a time, alternating, that might be a little easier. You can cross the body, or you can take the elbows out, or you can do combos. So just keep curling. We're working now the biceps. Those are like so vanity muscles, right? Those are like the gun show muscles. So, keep going, don't stop. I don't know why I was alternating. Now, you don't wanna hurl it back with your body weight. Try to keep your upper body nice and steady. In Pilates, the space between your hips 
and your shoulders is your powerhouse. So, I know this isn't Pilates, but keep that in mind. Keep that powerhouse nice and strong so that you are not slinging it. All right, hallelujah. That one's done. Set your weights down. We got a one minute break. How you guys doing? Whoo. No questions. Woohoo! I must be doing something right. Okay, so if you felt like the curtsy lunges with the kicks were fairly easy, grab some weights. I'm probably just gonna hold my five pound weights and then instead of switching them out like I did before, feeling sort of froggy. No pressure though on the weights. And if you have resistance tubes, you probably, this one would be hard for the resistance tube. How would we do this with resistance tubes, I wonder? The curtsy lunge with the kick. I'm waiting for my husband to show me a demonstration of the curtsy lunges with the kick. He's got the resistance tubes under his front leg, and so then there's resistance with the front, with the curtsy lunge part instead of just the kick part. So if you've got resistance tubes and you want to juice it up, put the resistance tube under that front leg, around behind, hold it here on your shoulders, and then do your curtsy lunge. You guys ready? Woohoo! All right. One minute, let's do this. Underhand rear delt raises. Have good, proud posture here, folks. Draw that belly button to spine. Think about the crown of the head being an extension of the rest of your back. So you're not looking up and you're not dropping the head down like we're checking text. Keep that belly in, keep those thumbs up. See if you can move the arms the same height and at the same speed. I struggle with that. You see that left arm doesn't want to do what the right arm wants to do. So that's why we do this exercise. Even though it's a really light weight, only five pounds, we're doing it first because the rear delts are usually fairly weak, but they're super important for shoulder stability. And since we're all strength trainers here, we gotta have nice, stable shoulders. One more. Whew, all right, we're gonna restart it here. Repeat it, we got the curtsy lunge, and then kick it inward. Curtsy lunge, kick it inward. One minute, don't stop. And again, if you can't do the curtsy squat, because this can be a little wonky on the knees, just do a reverse squat and bring that foot in front and kick it over. Endeavoring to kick with the heel first to really get into the inner thigh. And don't forget to breathe, kind of important. Y'all feeling this in your right butt cheek yet? I am. <laughs> so don't forget also you can grab hold of something stable all right one minute's done with that side if you don't have dumbbell supria you can do this with um resistance tubes let's do that on the other leg so with this one, it's okay if you don't have dumbbells because it's actually curtsy lunges and lunges period with body weight are fairly hard. You can also grab some water bottles. I love using water bottles. You can start out with like a, oh, we call them ounces, 16 ounce or 20 ounce water bottle. I can't remember what that is in liters and milliliters. And then keep in mind, 1.5 liters keep in mind one gallon of water is about eight pounds so you work your way up if you don't have dumbbells and budgets are a problem get creative and that's how you can still do resistance training on a budget for knee issues make sure you are minding the knees you don't want it to get too wobbly and also you don't have to go down as deep all right, grab your harder resistance tubes or your harder dumbbells. Let's do bicep curls. I'm going to go back 
to 15. You guys grab what you've got. Maybe I'll go back to 15. One more minute. Hold on, Asif. <laughs> yes. Yep. Exactly. All right. You ready? So bicep curls. Pick which one you want to do. Maybe you want to alternate. Maybe you want to do all three. Maybe you can even do reverse curls. Woo! I have to go down and wait to do reverse curls. Those are awesome. But we've got a whole minute here, so keep working. I'm trying to make sure I see you. See what you're saying. Yeah. Don't forget to breathe, kind of important. And remember, you don't wanna sling it back. This isn't like we're doing the worm dance. Make this come from your biceps. My biceps are starting to get tired, so I'm gonna alternate and maybe cross the body to recruit some different parts of the bicep muscles and hope that that helps me build some more muscles. How many of you guys are working on getting the protein you need every day. We need it to feed the muscles. All right, drop those weights. Whew. And take a break, one minute. It's a, it might stop beeping. All right, we got one minute. Catch your breath. Oh, good work, guys. Hey, Richa, hey, Paliva. Hey, Dr. Kamundi. And Ritu, it's good to see you. I was finally scrolling down. You would think that I would know how to scroll down. We've been doing this almost all lockdown and I still forget to scroll down on the chats. It's good to see you guys. We're almost done with our break. Hopefully this one wasn't too terrible. Out of breath wise, but we are still going up and down. So we're getting that interval part, that cardio part of the training that we're looking for. Don't forget, feed your muscles, get some protein. All right, we got to go down and wait. We got 13 seconds before we do. So grab your lighter weight for those rear delt raises. <sighs> Say a little prayer. This is our last one. We can do it. So rear delt raises, really, really small muscles. Go easy on them. Pay attention to form. Let's go one minute. We're doing the underhand gripped version today. Keep those shoulders locked in place. Keep the abdominals in and up, protecting the back here. Eventually, when I get stronger, I won't just do T's, I'll do some Y's as well. So if this is fairly easy for you and you wanna juice it up, take it up to a Y and then play with the T's and play with the activity that you feel like is working those rear delts. Rear delts are on the backs of the shoulders, basically. <sighs> I'm trying to talk, keep you guys motivated, and instead I'm like, focus on the shoulders. Yes, you can also turn your hands the other way. I think that's how we did it in the last session. Let's do one more for good measure. Yeah, all right, 60 seconds, the curtsy lunges with the inner thigh kicks. Let's do it, folks, 60 seconds, let's go. Left foot goes back and then out in front. Goes back, out in front. You're gonna feel this in the outer part of your butt cheeks tomorrow and hopefully the inner thighs. One day I'll get ankle weights and I'll do these with the ankle weights and that'll be awesome for the inner thighs. So if you guys come back and watch this workout on another day with ankle weights, you're welcome. <laughs> so the importance of those inner thighs, outer thighs, helps to stabilize your pelvis and your knees. Oftentimes we injure our knees because the glutes aren't strong enough and the knees are doing work that the glutes should be doing or the rest of the legs should be doing. Remember, you can also do a reverse lunge with the kick too. You don't have to do the curtsy. All right, switching sides. This time, right leg goes back.
Oh, keep going. Sorry, can you tell I'm breathing and thinking? Don't stop. I don't have a timer big enough for me to say 10 seconds, folks. If you want to juice it up, little to no weight in that back leg, then you're really working the balance and really getting into that front leg glute. So if this is easy, try it like that. And then don't forget, just a plain reverse lunge is also an option if the curtsy doesn't feel good. One more. Nice. Grab your heavier weights. Let's do our bicep curls. Oh my gosh. We can do it. I'm going to go back up to 15 even though I was getting tired. What are you guys doing? Whew. One minute. Bicep curls. Let's go. So remember, you can do hammer curls. You can do bicep curls. You can do these cross the body. Yeah. You can also take them out and you can play with how you're holding them with your wrist. All of these work your biceps. So if you want to show somebody where the gun show tickets were, <laughs> I just got an eye roll. <sighs> this is why we do it, right? Keep going. Don't stop. And remember, when you get tired, rather than use your body to jerk the weights up, maybe alternate with the arms. Really focus the core is nice and strong, so it's the biceps that are doing the work. Keep going. Don't stop. Even though the timer just went off. All right, drop the weights. Good job, guys. All right, so this next circuit. Three exercises, one minute each. We're gonna do renegade rows. So you're in a plank position and then you have your weights right there. You row it up, you row it up. If you want, you can do a push up between sides. Now, if you don't wanna do the plank part, you can just do a bent over row and row like that. I'm gonna do the renegade rows holding the plank. That's exercise number one. Second exercise. That's where we're gonna want the balance. You're gonna want a light weight. I'm gonna use five pounds probably. You're gonna ground down with one leg, put the weight in the crook behind the knee. You're gonna squat it down with one leg, then donkey kick it back up. Then the third exercise is this dumbbell hanging lateral raise. So if you can, you go over to the side and grab hold of a, of a doorway. Maybe you grab hold of a door like I am. You're gonna lean out and then do a lateral raise. Now, if that's like way too funky, why on earth would we do that? Throws off your balance, forces you to use your core. Weird, but it's kind of also fun. If that's wonky, you don't wanna do that, then stand there and do your lateral raises, okay? I'll tell you when about halfway is over so that we don't end up making this a four minute circuit. You guys ready? Any questions? No questions? Awesome, all right. So, renegade rows, grab your weights to get prepared. I'm probably gonna stay with 15 pounds here. If you don't want to do the renegade rows, remember, you can also do bent over rows. Same thing, you're just not doing the plank part to get the core engaged. That's a really good option if you're using resistance tubes. All right, you guys ready? All right, 60 seconds. Starting now, let's renegade row this out. And if you wanna juice it up, do a push up between. Woo, except I wouldn't recommend doing it on hardwood floors because your weights might slide like mine just did. Row it up. Now, if you're doing the renegade rows, try not to let your hips help you pull this up. Keep your hips nice and square. Make this action come from the back of the body. This is actually a back body exercise. When you've got the plank involved, of course it gets the core. When you've got an unstable surface, it works it too. 15 seconds. 
I stopped at the push-up nonsense. I was sliding around too much. <sighs> Keep going. <sighs> oh, take your break. Get a lighter weight, five pounds maybe. And let's go straight forward. I got a five pound weight over here outside of the vision. Sorry about that. Let's get moving. So we got two sides. This one's going to be a little longer. Put that weight maybe behind the right knee. Now your bottom's having to work to just hold it. If you've got resistance tubes, you'll do something similar. You'll have to, if you have a resistance tube tight around your thighs, like a mini band, and just do a reverse lunge with a donkey kick. All right, forgot to tell you that when I was describing it. So here we go, weight behind the knee, holding it up. 60 seconds, we got this little, little squat, donkey kick. The less you hold onto the chair, the more your bottom and legs have to do the work. But balance is a booger, so, Use your chair. You can also use a wall. Your legs are gonna thank you. So tomorrow, when you wake up and get ready for work, I expect to get lots of private messages with peaches saying, your bottom feels this. That's basically what every trainer wants to hear from their people, is that they're sore. Soar equals you're changing. Body composition is changing. Hopefully, not the bad sore. Woo wee, keep it going. Nice, one more. Awesome, switching sides. No rest for the weary. We're gonna now put the weight behind the left knee. Keep that left butt cheek nice and strong, nice and firm. We're working the right leg, let's go, one minute. Squat it down. Kick it up. I can't do a pistol squat yet, an unassisted pistol squat. So this is a homework assignment. Keep that left heel nice and active. That's gonna to help to remind your bottom hamstring to stay active to hold that weight keep going guys we got 18 seconds oh my gosh oh 10 seconds we can do it oh my gosh don't stop kick make that left side work nice Drop that weight, hobble over, <laughs> maybe rub your butt cheek. <laughs> All right, so we've got those hanging lateral lunges. I'm just gonna do a really light weight, my five pound weight. If you want, you can stand here and do lateral lunges the whole time. Otherwise, we're gonna grab the hold of something, lean, and just go, okay? And I'll try to tell you when 30 seconds is. All right, you ready? Oh, catch your breath. I've got to turn my term, time under 30 seconds. A little extra break here. And let's go. Hanging lateral lunge here. I mean, not lateral lunge. Lateral raise. Halfway there for this 30 seconds. This is hard hanging, isn't it? Two seconds on this side. Awesome. Switch sides. Other side. Or if you're doing two sides at the same time, you are halfway there. I can't lean as much on this side. I'm not strong enough. Keep going.
Two seconds. Oh, all right. Drop that weight. We got a one minute break. Let's take advantage of it. Catch your breath. Whew. Any questions for me? Was that hanging thing a little weird? Feels weird to me. I'm not gonna lie, I think it feels weird. <sighs> Trying to change things up because I've been doing lateral raises and front raises and so I was like, let's try this. Don't forget to drink your water. Thank you, SC. It's good to see all of my friends again. Namita and Ritu, thanks for joining. Okay, so remember, this set, we've got the renegade rows, the lunge with the kick back, donkey kick back, and then the dumbbell hanging lateral raises. Three minutes, catch your breath. Hopefully that you were able to recover fairly well in this one. 10 seconds left in this rest. I'm gonna face away from you this time for the renegade rows. See if that helps me be able to continue to do some push-ups. So grab your weights. If you don't have the weights and you're doing resistance tubes, you can do that bent over rows instead. You still get the benefit of that lat workout because that's what these are working. It's working your back body. You ready? One minute, lateral, I mean, excuse me, renegade rows. If you want to get froggy, do your push up between. And if you notice, my feet are wider than a traditional push up stance. That's to help stabilize my hips so that it, it makes it a little easier for the glutes. We are halfway there right now. Don't stop, don't get, don't let, this is that part where that mental, your grit comes in, right? Don't stop, we're officially about midway through our workout. Don't stop, keep going. You've gotta modify, drop your knees. If you were doing push-ups, skip the push-up, I just did. Whew. Holy moly, take your break. Huh. Grab your lighter weight. Put it behind one of your knees. It doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna put it behind my right knee. So it might be fair, a little easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. If you have resistance tubes, wrap it around your thighs. Do a lunge and kick it back with the tubes wrapped around your thighs, okay? All right, weight behind the knee. That one minute timer starting now. Your little one-legged squat, kick it back. Don't stop, guys. Chest stays proud even here. Keep that right foot or the, the bent knee foot Nice and flexed. Not gonna lie, part of me is wishing I'd have just broken this set and done 30 seconds each side. But that's where that grit comes in, right? We could do anything for a minute. 10 seconds. Don't stop, guys. Draw it from the deep. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. One more this side. Yeah. Take that weight from out from underneath that one leg. New timer starting right now. We're gonna squat, kick. I like these, these are killer, aren't they? Oh. Now, as you get tired, your hips are gonna to wanna to open up to the side to recruit different parts of your glute. Really keep your hips squared off, meaning facing forward. If you had headlights, they'd be going forward, not like you're going around a left-hand curve. So, endeavor to keep that left hip on the same plane as the right hip 
even when you kick out, especially when you kick out, keep that glute max, max, max it out guys. Five seconds, kick it hard. One more, you can do it. Yeah, drop that weight. Rub your little sore butt cheeks. Oh. Last exercise, those hanging lateral raises. If you don't wanna hang, you don't have to. I'll just cue you when your 30 seconds is up for all you hangers like me. Everybody else just keeps going. You ready? Grab hold of the side of the wall, whatever you're grabbing to lean, and start raise. You can play also with thumbs up on this raise. Since we did palms down the last time, work slightly different shoulder muscles. Somebody's gonna say, what did you do today? She had me hanging off the walls. All right, 30 seconds is up. Let's do that. Other side, go right to it. Now really think about the shoulder that's doing this work. Try to keep it moving along the same plane. You don't want to be stirring a pot. We're going up and down. Try to get out of the bicep of the hanging arm. Just hang, make your core do some work. One more, give me one more. Nice. Drop that weight. 60 second break. How you guys doing? Last one on this circuit, guys. And then we're gonna be on our last circuit. Yeah. And then you guys can leave and have a super nutritious breakfast filled with a lot of health, a lot of healthy lean proteins, right? So we gotta feed our muscles, so make sure you get your protein after this segment as I sat on my weight. All right, any questions for me, guys? I think we can maybe do all three of these one minute each circuit. Yeah. All right. So we got one more round. Your bottom is going to feel this tomorrow. Don't stop just because your bottom's getting tired, okay? Especially in those little kickbacks. As we do the renegade rows, really keep that core nice and strong. Don't sway side to side. We're not boxing. We're keeping our powerhouse nice and stable, okay? So even though we're tired, make sure you mind your form. Tired is where you get your pain, where you hurt yourself, okay? So pay attention to your form. I can't be there to watch what you're doing. So make sure your powerhouse stays nice and strong. All right, grab your weights. If you're doing renegade rows or bent over rows, get yourself prepared. Last minute, let's do it. I'm gonna to try to do five more push-ups. <clears throat> Push yourself. You'll never get stronger unless it's hard. So, that's how we build some muscles. Keep it going. I know it's hard, I'm getting tired. I'm leaving drops of sweat everywhere. I think that was five. Don't stop. Pay attention to your hips. Don't let them be too wobbly. Don't let your butt get up too high. Somebody needs to yell, Jennifer, get your bottom down. Keep going, guys. Don't stop. Seven seconds. You can do it. Three seconds. Let's do one more each side. Come on. One more. Holy awesome. All right. Grab your lighter weight. I'm going to turn my chair facing away from me. I'm getting a little tired. Put your lighter weight behind the knee. Curl it up, engaging the back part of your leg, okay? Posterior chain work. Let's start that one minute. Squat it down. Kick it back. Try to have easy fingers in this chair. 
Did you see how I was gripping it for dear life? <laughs> so, this will help the smile of your butt cheek. There we go, in case you ever wanted to know. <laughs> keep breathing, guys. So even if you're tired, keep going. Remember, you want your hips to stay squared off if you can. Don't let them open up. That's a different exercise. We might do that one day. Try to have light fingertips on whatever it is you're holding on to. Your butt cheek is talking to you. Let it talk. One more. Nice. Grab that weight. Switch legs. And let's get moving. One minute. We can do it. I want comments on whether or not you like this little combo move. This little single leg squat with kickback. It's normally something I do with mini bands and it's not a single leg. It just becomes like the lunge with the donkey kick. But since I didn't say mini band workout, I was coming up with dumbbell exercises today. This is a killer, isn't it? Keep going guys. Don't stop. We're calling it high intensity for a reason, right? You can do it. Don't let anything stop you. Kick it back. If you gotta take a break, take a break, but don't quit. I was reading a funny meme today about online workouts and the, the teacher cued something too hard and the person stopped and made pancakes. That's not you. We're not making pancakes. Rub your butt cheeks. Woo! Hanging, lateral, raises, thanks Aparna. Lots of work, 30 seconds each side or 60 seconds for all of them. Grab your lightweight or your resistance tubes. You guys ready? Catch your breath, 30 seconds each side. Hang it out and let's go. I sort of feel like I should be in a musical singing as I hang off this door. <laughs> Hopefully the door doesn't fall off its hinges. If it does, my husband will not be pleased. You can do it guys, don't stop. We are in it to win the TC12, right? No, are we TC11? We're in TC11. This is the extra boost we need. All right, 30 seconds is up. Let's do that on the other side. We're gonna win those hero cycles. Make sure you get your protein, that secret key. And then it's hard exercises like this. Building up your cardiovascular capacity, building muscles, you can do it. Don't stop. If you notice, I went back to palms down. It's like instinctive. I didn't even tell you, I apologize. Do it whichever way you want. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Don't try to hike it up by hiking the, the shoulder up first. All right, two more. One more. Drop it down. Whoa. Say a prayer. I forgot to set the timer on that one, so it was, I was hoping it was around about 30 seconds. Not going to lie. All right, third circuit, last circuit. Three times, three exercises, 60 seconds each. You guys ready? It's gonna start out with dips. If you want, you can do your dips on the ground. I've got a chair. I'm gonna do my dips. I'm gonna start out at least on my chair. And then as my triceps get tired, you might see me modify and move down to the ground. If you got like a dip machine, go for that. Um, after the dips, we're gonna do bridges. You can do bridges straight from the ground or I'm gonna keep weights with me so you can see it with weights. You can put your feet up high. So if you have a Swiss ball, it's even harder because your um, ball is gonna move. You'll lift your hips. And if you want, you grab your weight, you leave it here, you drop it down, lift it up. You don't have to use the weight. 
You can just lift it up and down. Feet up makes it a little more difficult because you got to raise up higher, okay? That's the bridges. The next one is the around the world. You're probably going to want as light a weight as possible. In fact, I'm going to do the first round without weights just to check in with my shoulders. Around the world, you're going to start out feet on the ground or feet off the ground, palms up, take it out like you're serving a tray, bring it back. Only go out as wide as you can see your hands, okay? So it's a little bit of a shoulder exercise and a whole bunch of core exercise. You ready? One minute, each of these exercises. We can do it, three rounds, basically 10 minutes left in the workout. We can do anything for 10 minutes, right? So, you ready? Dips first for one minute. Thank you, Vinda. <laughs> do we do lunges if our knees are making? All right, so if you have pain while you're doing lunges, don't do it. Um, I don't, with cracking Vinda, Vinda, I'm sorry, um, I would be a little bit careful with the cracking. Don't go so deep. Modify your stance. Maybe try to go wider or shorter. Try the different stances and see if that makes it better. And if you're still cracking, especially if there's pain, skip the lunges and just do the donkey kicks, okay? All right, so. But I'm 40 years old and I got a lot of popping and I still keep moving. So there's a difference between like cracking, popping, like because you're getting older and like, holy crap, that was a bad pop. So just be mindful. You ready? We got dips. 60 seconds. You can do it. Don't stop. Last 10 minutes of your exercise. Let's do this. One minute, dip it out. Now, if you want to get froggy, the farther out your legs are, the more you have to work. The closer in, the less you have to work. What I want you to pay attention to is keep those shoulders away from the ears. Don't dump down. That's hella hard on the shoulders. We don't want to hurt your shoulders. So push down through the heel of your hands. Push it down. If you've got both feet on the ground, squeeze the glutes at the top, a little bit of glute extra credit. Make sure your elbows are going straight back. Don't let them get floppy out to the side. If you get tired, slow down. Check it out, I'm slowing down. It's all good. This is working the triceps, what I like to affectionately call the granny wave. Now, if you notice, I've moved my hands from palms facing forward to palms, fingertips facing out. That's okay. Keep going. Oh, one more because we can. Holy mackerel, turn around, get your feet. Rest your poor little arms. Get your feet up high. Raise those feet up. Lay down. Let's do some raised glute bridges. Let's do it one minute. So again, you can do this with or without weights. The thing that I don't want you to sacrifice is what's going on here with your neck. Don't tuck your chin. Keep your chin nice and lifted. Press those palms into the mat. Make your triceps help stabilize your hips. If you've got a weight, your hands are actually helping to hold the weight on the hips, all right? So they're helping to make this a little more difficult. But if your hips get wonky like mine just were, because I'm getting tired, don't use a weight. You wanna lift your hips, sit bones lifting at the same time. Try not to let your knees splay out to the side. Pretend you're squishing like a book between your knees, or if you have a band, wrap it around your legs. Do whatever you need to do to keep the energy towards the midline. It's like sneaky inner thigh work. <sighs> Holy mackerel, that was awesome, but we're done. Okay, so now we've got these around the world. If you want, you can leave your feet planted on the mat. I'm going to go this way so that there's no chair in the way. You can leave your feet planted on the mat. Just take your arms out to the side. Bring them forward. If you're feeling really froggy, grab maybe two pounds or five pounds. You ready? One minute. Let's do this. So you can leave your feet on the ground if you want. It's a little easier. Or you can try to raise your feet. Don't let your arms go out wider than your peripheral. Keep your chest proud. Pretend Thor just came in. He wants you to help him. You would stand up taller, right? You were being recruited for, oh, crackers. I'm forgetting my analogy. What is he a part of? 
the Marvel series. We, the Avengers, thank you. Keep your chest proud. Try not to round in the spine. Try to draw the navel in. I don't know if you noticed, I was sticking my belly out. Draw it in. That's where that core gets stabilized. Keep going. Don't stop. If you gotta drop your feet, drop your feet. If you've gotta come out of the V a little, it's okay too. Last one. Yeah. Holy mackerel. One minute break. How you guys doing? <laughs> Oh, thanks, Shivani. Yours is too. Just keep practicing, guys. Keep practicing. We can do it. Yes, locking the feet is good. It's actually a really good assistance. Yep. Um, actually, when I'm working with clients that are struggling with that lower abdominal hip flexor strength, locking the knees down, locking the feet down rather is perfect because then you're able to focus a little bit more on the upper abs. But with time, get to the point where you've got the low core extra activation and strength that's going to help. It's like pelvic floor strength. It's um, powerhouse strength, um, hip stability. So yes, locking the feet down perfectly fine, but maybe try alternating and only locking down one foot at a time just to get into this, this low ab uh, hip flexor strength. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you, Reka. I'm glad that you like it. All right. You guys ready? We got 60 seconds. My timer just went off. Let's do this, we got dips. Remember, the further out your feet are, the harder this is. The closer your feet are, the easier this is. If you wanna come down to the mat and not move as much, totally cool. Only thing that's not optional is get those shoulders away from the ears, okay? Pull the shoulders down and away. All right, 60 seconds, let's dip it out. And you too, you can play with which way your palms face. Like right now, my palms are facing together. And then when that gets too hard, I'm going to have the palms facing away. All of those are okay. Extra credit, butt squeeze at the top, squeezing the booty at the top. A little bit of like a mini hip thrust. Keep breathing. I'm going to play with palms back now. Holy mackerel, anybody else feeling this in the triceps? I think I gotta do at least three that way. Now I'm gonna do palms back. Just doing anything I can to keep moving. Activating different parts of the arm muscles, maybe. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Just 60 seconds, we can do it, don't stop. Keep the core in. Don't let those shoulders creep up. One more. Yeah, all right. Elevated glute bridges. And if it's too hard to have your hips, your feet up high, that's okay. Just leave them down on the ground and do your glute bridges that way. But if you're froggy, we got one minute. Let's do it. Push those hips up. Use your arms onto the mat beside you to help ground you, stabilize the powerhouse. You don't want your hips coming up uneven. You're gonna notice one hip leads the other. Don't let that happen. So for me, my right hip is wanting to lead the left hip. So I'm thinking to myself, left hip, left hip, left hip, to get it up every bit as high as the right hip. Now, the next thing you wanna think about is keeping those inner thighs active. So if you can, imagine a ball is between your knees or a book is between your knees. You are not going to let anybody steal that book. Don't let the knees dis just splay out. We're holding those knees in. Feel how as you hold the knees in, it activates the hammies even more. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Last one. Those around the world. I feel like half of my body was off the camera mm -hmm. for that one. 60 seconds around the world. Again. You can practice with feet on the ground, feet off the ground, one at a time, your choice. The only thing that's not optional is you're not rounding through the spine. Keep your spine nice and proud. And it's like you're trying to offer a present to the crowd. And when you get stronger, you'll be able to do this 
with weights. Whoo, that five pound weight is too heavy for me. I would need like a two pound weight. So if you want, you can think about how you just got a brand new necklace and you're trying to show everybody your necklace. So don't, if you got a brand new necklace, would you be rounded? No, you would stand up proud. You would show everybody your new necklace. I'm getting a little tired, so I just dropped my heels. I'm gonna see if I can keep one leg lifted. Keep breathing, guys. Don't stop, keep that spine nice and straight. Draw the navel in, don't let the belly button poof out. One more each side. Holy mackerel, one minute break. Last set, we can do it, we'll be ending right on time. If you want, you'll have to stretch out. <sighs> Good job, guys. I maybe should have done these sets 45 seconds each. I apologize. Actually, let's do this last set. We will do 45 seconds so that we're not running out of time too much. I get a little zealous creating these workouts for you guys. So next time we'll have to schedule 90 minutes. Ugh! I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's only so much. <laughs> All right, we've got 30 seconds. Grab your water. <laughs> oh, the shot. I never, ever thought about it that way. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm the queen of inappropriate innuendo, and I apologize for that. I'll tell you later. My husband's laughing at me, too. Okay, guys, 45 seconds. That's it. unless you're my dog and then we will steal them. Okay, stop that, 45 seconds. <sighs> All right, dip it out guys. Let's do this, 45 seconds and go. Timer is on, we could do anything for 45 seconds. Look at how close my feet are to my body compared to where they were when they started. My triceps are feeling this guys. Don't let your shoulders take over here. Get your triceps pushing. Use the ball of your hands to push it down. So we just started a self-defense class at my studio and we learned a punch yesterday, I forget what it's called, where you punch with the palm of your hand. So pretend that's the action that you're doing right now, pressing in right there, the meaty part of your palm instead of the outer edge of it. I'm gonna twist my hands around a bit. Oh, I'm glad this is just 45 seconds. Nice, all right, turn around. Glute bridges, hold your legs together. I'll have to think of another analogy to make that work without sounding crude. All right, let's do it, 45 seconds, let's go. Lift it up. Pay attention to your hips. If you had headlights, they would be going up at the same time. Check in there. Remember, the lower your heels, the easier this will be. If you have a stability ball, this is so hard on a stability ball. So I invite you to try it next time. You have to work harder because the ball is an unstable surface. At least here, the chair is, is um, stable, right? Try to keep those hips on an even plane. Don't let the knees fly out. Keep going, press those hands into the mat. Yeah, all right, last around the world. Sit up, let's move straight to it. So you can move on about your day, 45 seconds. Take it out, serve the tray. Maybe you can play with straightening the legs. Holy cow, right? I think I've got at least a few seconds like that. When your legs are bent or straight, work the knees together if you can. That's inner thigh strength. Thinking tiny waist, don't let your belly flop out. All you ladies, especially ladies that have had babies, don't let your belly go to a TP. Draw that belly button to spine. It's possible. You're thinking wide tiny waist, not TP tiny waist. Keep going, almost done. Six seconds. Sit up a little taller. Come on, give it to me, the best that you've got. Two more, one more. 
Yeah, holy macro. Good job, everybody. Don't forget to stretch this out. Don't forget to tell all of your friends about Fitter to have them sign up. We're in the middle of TC11. It's too late for them to sign up, but it's not too late for them to join us in a session just like this twice a day. Tell your friends. Fitter, we are here on live inside the app and we also go live on Facebook twice a day. Again, my name is Coach Jennifer Dixon. I own Thrive Yoga and Wellness and it was a pleasure leading you guys in what I hope was a fantastic workout. Don't forget to stretch out. This is the perfect time to stretch. Your muscles are nice and warm, so get a good stretch out in if you can and go eat some protein. Until the next time, you guys, Jennifer Dixon signing off. I see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Yavor. Oh, thanks, Mita. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, the um, I was writing it out for someone else after the last um, workout, and I thought this might be good inside the the workout. So I'm glad that it's helpful. Thank you, Vinda. All right, I'm gonna sign off here on Facebook. See you guys. And don't forget, you can always uh, send me a private message if you have questions.